All right, I'm going to show you real quick about how I did my first stage accurizing job on my gun. Just to show you real quickly, I started in the back. I wrapped in under the barrel all the way up to here. Inside the little rubber, there's like the little uh, hop-up kind of thing where everything goes in there. I don't know what the hell you want to call it. The ramp up on top of the ramp. There's a little plug. I put one wrap on the inside, stuck it back in. Then wrap down over where the uh, thing for the hop up is. I went down, and then I wrap down once, overlapping. I don't know if you can see, overlapping like that much. Down, 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 down. Then I stopped and reversed and came back to here and built it up a little more towards the edge here. All right, I was gonna do. 50 feet, but that's like a little too far. So I'm gonna settle on 30 feet, and uh, and it just it feels it feels a lot tighter. It feels like there's not a lot much play, but we'll see how it translates. Oh, looks like they're all over the place. Let's do some more. All right, the first lot was prone, and I don't know, I couldn't really see where they're going. There's a lot of clouds. I really can't see where they're going at that range, so I'm gonna go kneel this time and see how they group tighten up. They tighten up. Out of gas. Well, anyways, I noticed that it started, the BB started rolling up. And so where I wrapped over the hop-up, you know, I have the um, screw down on the hop-up any. The pressure from the tape is causing some pressure on the hop-up. So I'm going to open it back up and I'm going to take, cut the tape from the hop-up away. So there it is. And from the edge of the thing, I'll take it away. I'll show you. Now here's a picture of it open. You have to be sure that this is a little spring there. Don't lose a little spring. And also right down. Eh, this lights for shit. <laughs> also down in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little spring right in this little slot there. That's got to stay the hell in there. And then here's the other side. And then here. Just lifts right out. Pop. And you can see. I don't know if you can see. Right where the hop up is, I got like build up there and there's pressure. It looks like it was hitting there. It was popping up. So I'm going to cut that away from there. But all in all, it looks like really there was no interference. It didn't really hit. It hit like kind of a little on this side in the barrel. So I don't know. Who knows? Oh, and I'm also going to pop this end cap off and see. I put some there. I'm going to take that off. Because it just seemed like it was engaging a little more and spinning and going higher. And I liked it the way it was, so I'm going to change that back. Okay. There's a picture of it right in there. It goes out of focus. Uh, and I uncovered the hop-up. And so there's no pressure or anything on it. And i done a blow-by. Like, i blown on this end, plugged my finger... I'm really nothing escapes. I like sealed it up at first. I tried it once, it leaked a little. Then I, you know, I taped it, tried it, didn't leak at all, and now I undid it and did it again. 
And for the amount of time that there's pressure in that tube, and me blowing on it, there's not enough time for it to leak out anywhere. So it's really uh, kind of skeptical that you're going to gain anything by like trying to like tape it all up. And you know, maybe on the earlier things it was shitty and it didn't uh, didn't you know seal good. But this thing's uh, I'm not seeing too much leakage. Nothing that's going to affect the range any or, or the barrel velocity, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'll put it back together. Just a quick note, when you put it back together on the rubber end plug, when you put it inside there, go inside and make sure it's not crimped over. Mine was folded in like a V, looked like a P47. Then I pushed on the sides and in a little, and then it went back to a circular shape. Make sure it's circular when you reset it too. That could have been something I didn't check that was making it flop all around before. Okay, I changed the profile here. I added a little bit more tape made that fatter and I put clear like two mil two layers of two mil plastic packaging tape right up against the tip because as you can see this pushed back so this should crush down at the end and like on a 45 everybody knows that's what makes it more accurate is a nice tight lockup so I'm gonna go out and shoot a few more and in my defense there's about a 30 mile per hour gust up in the trees 20 to 30 mile per hour gust and I was shooting in that, so that could have screwed me up a little. But I'm going to go shoot and see where they go now. I'm going to go run real fast. See, uh, you really can't see it here. I'll bring it over here. Now, it's much tighter. See, look at how tight it is now. This is not moving at all in here. If it is, it's just moving like not even a millimeter. This is solid now. It's not going clack, 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 clack like that. So I'm going to go see if it makes, if it loads and chambers it properly and uh, and if it makes any difference. Okay, in keeping in George Orwell's 1984, we're going to keep all shootings like uh, thing. This is the uh, Psycho Pass uh, test one of the, uh, whatever that gun was called on Psycho Pass. Right, let's see how we do here. All right, hit the fence. There's a tree. 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 That's better. Let's see if I can hit the little one. This is a bitch to hit these things. Ah, miss. 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 I can never hit these things so I don't feel bad. Oh, pulled it. Let's see. I can barely see where I'm shooting anyways. Holding the camera. Ah, come on. Give me a hit, you bastard. There we go. No, I missed. I pulled it right the last second. That should have been almost a hit. Eh, I don't know where the hell they're going. I'll do a long range one at the tree down there. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. It's much tighter. I mean, I'm telling you. There's wind blowing too. I don't know where the hell that one went. That one hit. This one makes the most noise while I shoot at. Oh, missed. That hit. Alright, hung it. Whoops. Oh, whoops, I forgot to cock the pistol. Oh, shit, here we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to do a few double taps on, on, on this tree. Right, let me do it so I can actually see what the hell I'm shooting at instead of looking at the camera here. All right. Let's try a double tap. Uh, I knew I pulled one. That should be in, yet. Yeah. Oh, the sweet. Yeah. Oh, I hit the fence in the same spot. You hear it? Uh, I hit one, but I rose for the other. Now I'm rising. Now nah, the second shot's pulling me. I got to reset. No. Nope. Ah, fuck that tree. Oh, hey, I got more. I got... It's another 25, and I still get some gas. Watch out, Jimmy. That tree's charging. Damn, still got more gas. That was like another 15. Well, all in all, what I just did by making the lockup a little tighter up front and making it a little thicker up there so it ramps up and locks tighter in the barrel up there without moving around the whole assembly. Man, that thing's not, it's accurate. <laughs> it's more accurate than it was, I'll tell you that much, which is what accurizing is what it's about.
definitely don't cover up the hop up. That seemed to adversely affect it. It started to put more spin on it. I hate that. I don't like it rising up and then kind of coming down. Because in the range I'm shooting at, I don't need it rising up and coming down. I mean, I'm like I'm trying to shoot across a lake. I, mean, I don't know, hit whatever the hell. I mean, who the hell cares about shooting it as far as you can when the thing's curving off like a you know, like a screwball at the end? Who freaking cares about that? So that is phase one of my accurization. I don't know if I'm going to show you phase two. I, I may have to keep that top secret. I think I've showed you bastards enough. Everybody's going to have this mod claiming they freaking figured it out first, and I'm the one who did it. <laughs> Look. But this is the top secret mod. This is the unobtrusive mod. The next mod will be obtrusive. You're going to see it. You'll know it's there. I'm trying to hide it. But we'll see how that goes when all the parts for it get here. <laughs> Alright, enjoy.